Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Mr. Grimm's Grimm's Gaming's first podcast. It is almost 7 o'clock in the morning Eastern Standard Time on Friday, March 10th, 2023. I am doing this in a podcast format. Uh, It will be released as just another video on YouTube. Uh, Apparently the podcast feature on YouTube functions as a playlist, and it'll just pop things up on the podcast section of the site, so I figured why not give it a shot. Uh, I guess it gives people something maybe you can listen to on the way to work, on the way home, during your breaks, whatever. Uh, It is going to be audio only. I'll just use some pictures of some benchmarks. So okay, getting into it. I... uh, I'm going to use this podcast I plan to produce weekly, uh, just about the channel, Grimm's Gaming. We're going to talk about projects I'm doing, uh, news that's coming up in the week that might be related to my projects, and so on and so forth. And, of course, promoting friends, and uh, whatever else is inclined to require. I'll also put a link to my Discord in the description, in case anyone feels the need to contact me about anything. Uh, You can reach me there. Alright, first topic... Uh, WWE 2K23 is coming out uh, later this week. I did cave and pre-order it so I could get the early release. Um, It looks pretty good. Now, I don't remember if I actually did a review on 2K22 or just uploaded, excuse me, a video or two. But uh, I'm generally happy with the new 2K games. They've been much better on a technical level. Uh, and on a lot of presentational levels. As a fan, some of the content's been a bit lacking, but overall the package has still been very good. Universe Mode in particular has kept me very busy, and so I've come up with a new idea. Uh, When I get, I'm going to be getting, it's going to download to my computer, sorry, it's downloading to my PlayStation 4 in about two days now. So, after I get done my marathons, I can start working on it. Uh, and then, well, things get tricky, but here's the plan, okay, and I already announced this to MDN Gaming during his stream, but the plan is, since the most successful series I've done have been ones that involve uh, the audience and my subscribers, I figure I might as well include them and go ahead and make our own fake promotion within this game. You can do that sort of thing, uh, thanks to Universe Mode, so it's going to be a unique Federation, I am going to create wrestlers for pretty much everyone on my subscribers list. Anyone who doesn't want to be included, feel free to contact me and let me know in any way you feel comfortable with. Uh, if there's anything specific about your character you do want me to include, also feel free to let me know. If you have a particular name you want to go by, I'm going to go by the screen names I have for all of them. Uh, I'm not going to dox anybody, except maybe myself. <laughs> um... However much detail you want to get into it, uh, heck, if you have the game yourself, and you've already made yourself, and you just, you know, just let me know, attach the, uh, hashtag Grim Gaming to it, and, uh, and let me know, and I'll look it up in Community Creations. It should be there. I think Community Creations is cross-platform. Not 100% positive, but I think it is. So, anyways, uh, that's the plan, alright? So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make the audience, and anyone, of course who tunes into the series as it goes along and wants to join, can feel free to let me know, and I will add them in whatever capacity they are comfortable with uh, to it. So we'll all be wrestlers, we'll all have you know our own factions, our own feuds. It's going to be a unique show and a unique company, and uh, I'm going to mute the commentary and provide it myself, probably using a character or two that I can envision in my head. Anybody who wants to do uh, guest commentary is, of course, always welcome to join the show. Uh, in one whatever capacity. Now, there's going to be... The show's going to go through a few phases, okay? The initial airing is probably going to be a stream on DLive, I want to say. I have to get a television set so I can hook the PlayStation 4 up in my office, but if I do that, I can stream it on DLive. I don't think it'll get censored on DLive. It'll definitely get censored on YouTube. Uh, they tend to take out all the audio, and uh, which is fine if you just want to you know, non stop talking, I guess. But there's always going to be down points. A lot of people will just edit that stuff out. And I'm going to do that, but I'm going I'm to stream this first. I want there to be live. I want the shows to be live. Live commentary, 
live events, and DLive is probably where it's going to have to be. I cannot stream to uh, to Rumble, and Twitch is probably going to be... I mean, I'll test it first just to be safe, but Twitch, I am assuming, is going to be just as censorious as YouTube is in that area. So, I won't know until I try it, but if it works, I'll go with that instead, because I can do that right from the console. But um, that's the plan, is to go on probably DLive, stream the event, and record it, and uh, and then I will upload it in full to Rumble, and I will do an edited version, which will be uh, like a recap. You know, we'll do uh, uh, weekly recaps at the end of the week or whatever, and uh, and that'll just do the highlights. You know, here's what happened to who and when. That would also be a great opportunity for a, a guest a commentator because it'd be really easy for us to to dub over that. Otherwise. We got to arrange it for the stream, which we could still do, but it might be a little harder because it depends on your schedule versus my schedule, that sort of thing. And get the time zones crossed up and who works when. So the, the recaps are more likely to have guest commentators. But it, again, it's technically would be open for anybody uh, under any situations. And we'll see how it goes. Now, um, the other plan is I'm going to start this off as though it's a small local federation, right? It's going to be. Uh, based in, in the northeast of the United States, so similar territories to ECW and, and back in the day WWE used to be uh, located in uh, at first, and then as time goes it'll grow, uh, we'll get better arenas, and we'll, we'll visit more venues, and eventually maybe have a brand split of our own, or, or we'll, we'll meet a rival company that we'll compete with or something, and it'll change the schedule around, it'll change the that around but that's going to happen as the series progresses at least that's the plan we will the company will grow uh, the wrestlers will grow and uh evolve over time and it'll be interesting you know every now and then you get a new look whatever uh and it should all come out very nicely um but like i said this is all when it's coming out i'm getting it it's, it should be downloading by monday i think monday or tuesday and um It'll download automatically, so it'll be unlocked. Uh, and then I have to get things set up. So I'm going to have to I have a lot of wrestlers to make. I want to make the show, so I want to make the arena. I want to make logos, right? Uh, eventually, we'll probably do uh, videos. At first, I'll probably use uh, stand-in videos, because until we have you know some footage, you know, how much video we're going to get. Um, but, you know... Uh, and that's how it's going to go. We'll probably have it set up so that there's uh, like five cards a week. And I'll probably be recording them at the beginning of the week, actually. And uh, in one or two streams. And then I'll be editing it and uh, reposting it throughout the week, right? Because they're going to go quicker in, in, uh, in the streams. So, um... So that's the idea. It is going to take me a while to set it up. I'm going to have to actually probably make a logo and figure out how to upload the dang thing. I've done similar things before. Actually, in a previous 2K game, I did upload a picture of Hulk Hogan so I could make a proper looking Hulk Hogan. You know, get the face right. So I have done this before. It's just a matter of putting in the elbow grease. The universe mode looks like it got some nice upgrades, so it's going to be a lot of fun. And, uh, like I said, so that's the plan, alright, for that. Now there's, there's more games coming out this year. This is a very busy year. I already did a video about the new Naruto game, Ultimate Ninja Storm Connections. Uh, this seems to be a confirmation that the Storm games are coming back, which to me is a good thing. I like the Storm games. I wasn't crazy about Shinobi Strikers. I passed it up. I imagine a lot of people did. That's probably why they're bringing it back. I don't think it was the original plan. Um, I also think this is going to be the last of the old engine. I, I don't see them sticking with it for long because they've been using it now for, it's on its third generation, console generation, this fighting engine. So it's due for, uh, a, a retrofitting. And, uh, so I imagine that's coming. The next one I suspect is going to be a primarily Boruto game, possibly. Now Boruto anime is being canceled. So I, I don't really know for sure. Um, <laughs> there's, the future is not clear, but I do suspect a new engine is coming, and with the new engine means a smaller roster, 
uh, less content. It's inevitable. You know, they got to test the waters first. And, uh, and before they can start adding lo loads and loads of content, which hopefully they come up with something that'll work for them for that. But I do still plan on streaming that as well. I'm going to work out a schedule when, um, a more precise schedule when I get, uh, well, as my schedule balances out now, I am still on the double doubles, unfortunately, but I do have an extra day off. So basically, my current work schedule is going to be very busy over the weekend, but then I've got four days off to uh, cover, adjust, and all that. So, you know, it's it's got its pluses and its downsides, and that's going to change later this year as well. Uh, when the weather gets nicer, another guy wants to switch me, with me, so it'll be back to something a little more normal. But until then, at least it's not, uh, not going to be as bad because of the extra day off. So, I'm going to be, the schedule, a streaming schedule will be adjusted for that by then. Off the top of my head, I, I can't say exactly what I'll do, because I'm going to set some days aside for maybe multiplayer stuff, and I'll set some other days aside for single player stuff. You know, I still got the, of course, Naruto games I want to play, and I do have the uh, Seven Days to Die. Seven Days is still going to be the main feature uh, on the channel going forward, because, uh... It's the one sure thing. <laughs> the uh, the universe mode is going to take some time, like I said, to tweak to set up and to make sure that I know what I'm doing with it. Uh, the storm games are always going to be kind of a filler. You know, I throw them in uh, times like right now, really, when I don't have a whole lot else to do. I got some free time, so I want to just crank something out real quick. I would normally go to Naruto, but I'm doing this now once a week, so that's adding to it. <laughs> but uh, that's where we're at now. Um... Also, they announced a new uh, Budokai Tenkaichi game coming out. Um, exciting news. I was a big fan of the old Budokai Tenkaichis. I also liked the uh, Raging Blast games as well. And if you don't follow the series, the Raging Blast games were the new Budokai Tenkaichis. They, uh, they were just an upgraded version of it. So... Going back to Budokai Tenkaichi sounds to me like they're appealing to the uh, loud minority who wasn't paying attention. And uh, they're going to be playing off uh, fan service more so than much else. The thing I question is how much they can actually handle content-wise. Going with a Budokai Tenkaichi, the standard is going to be set very high as far as that. And it's going to... <clears throat> excuse me, it's going to be difficult for them to, to reach that standard. Because again, they can't just pop it in the old engine. Already we can see that it's significantly updated graphics. So that they're going to need new character models all around, every single character. So if you're trying to do the original roster of 100 some odd characters, that's a lot of character models, right? So uh, I don't know how it's going to compare. I know that there will be a lot of characters. Uh, hopefully there will be cinematic special moves. That's about the only other thing that I get on the horn about for my anime games. Uh, they also have a new DLC coming out for uh, Kakarot. They recently released uh, the Bardock story, which is based on the original, which is weird because it's been retconned. So uh, it doesn't account for that. But hey, you know, whatever. Um... <laughs> But they've also announced, apparently, one more DLC where they're doing the 23rd World Tournament, which should have been in the game originally. There's absolutely no reason for it not to, but now they're finally putting it in. So I might get, you know, slip that game back into the schedule somewhere down the line as well. I meant to put it in anyways, so I guess it is as it does, right? Um, as far as other projects, Final Fantasy hasn't been forgotten. <laughs> it's just... Too many projects, not enough time. Now with my new schedule, maybe I'll have more time. I can wiggle some more things in there. But uh, we'll have to see how that goes. Um, I also planned on... I have a lot of ideas. I, I want to start some video projects as well. Uh, I've got some uh, collections I want to show. And uh, do some reviews on collectibles. And uh, give some advice on them, that sort of thing. I'm still waiting for my office to be properly set up for that. I need another table at the bare minimum. Some decent lighting would be nice as well. 
so all of that is also in the works and also a camera. Uh, and I wanted to get a camera set up anyway. I still have to get my dual PC set up, set up which requires another uh, monitor, another keyboard. I got to get a TV in here so I can record off my consoles. Um, so I got a lot of work to do on the office still. So that's that's the stuff I'm probably going to be fo I'm going to try to focus on getting the hardware stuff out of the way as much as I can. Of course, money is always an issue. Uh, energy bills are through the roof, as we all found out when we got our our bills for the the winter time. First winter bills came through. I know it fucking shot my balls clean off when I saw that because <laughs> I had extra money. It's just funny. That was a bird who was relaxed, Seamus. He's gone now. He, he was stuck, but he's gone. It's okay. Relax. Uh, Shame is putting his two cents in. But, um... Yeah, so the electric bill, definitely. I had the money, but I, I didn't want to be broke. <laughs> you know how it, life is a negotiation between bills to bills. And doing these doubles, I, you know, packing two lunches versus uh, just ordering one big one. You spend the money, but, you know, the time you save otherwise. Everything's a negotiation in life. It's give and take, right? So, uh, all of that is <laughs> on the billing. Um, the plan is to keep doing these. I figure every Friday morning I'll make one and post it. Probably pretty quickly. Uh, can't say uh, as to length or uh, what kind of content I'll have week to week. We'll probably talk about news sometimes. I might have a... Uh, people invite some guests on to talk about things uh whatever's on their mind promote their content their projects that would be fine anybody who wants to to pop in on this just let me know and uh we'll record a session and it'll be in the next podcast uh other plans for the channel i do want to reiterate that i have no intention of ever monetizing my channel uh and this is by no means a condemnation of other people who do it's your prerogative to do what you will with your channel. We're all adults, you know. Uh, you can do whatever you like with it. <laughs> I will never, however, monetize. I've said it before, but I'll reiterate. I don't want to censor my contents in any way. And, uh, you know, I'm not one to shy away from dirty jokes and racy jokes. And I will, if it comes to mind, I will make it. And if anybody else thinks so on, I'd like them to make it as well. I don't want to restrict myself to the lowest common denominator as the AdSense from YouTube requires. And that's the problem with YouTube is they don't have categories. There's no adult category, no teenagers. You know, they don't even account for hobbies or anything. It's just everyone is lumped into one big pile. And we're all held to the standards of the, uh, the lowest common denominator, which is children's programming. Okay? So whether you're playing... Uh, video games, whether you're doing music, uh, whether you're just blogging or whatever, it's it's still going to apply to these standards of, it's, you're basically Sesame Street, okay? So, if you're not clean enough for Sesame Street, you're not gonna get much of that ad sense. The other reason I won't monetize is because it takes a very long time to actually make money on YouTube. I mean, anything reasonable from the metric I've understood and the research I've done seems to back it up. Um, you need hundreds of thousands of subscribers to make any real money. Or sorry, hundreds of thousands of views. <laughs> views to make any kind of money. For, uh, for prerogative, okay, you get about one one hundredth your subscribers worth of views that's the youtube average i've been doing a little better thanks to my friends and the community backing me up with lurks but you know if you've got say 300 subscribers you'll be lucky if you get three views per video that's the average so by that metric again you need at least two hundred thousand views to make money um then you need at least 10 million subscribers you need millions of subscribers to make money okay real money otherwise you're getting change on the dollar and uh is it worth subjecting your viewers your audience to the same horrible commercials uh if they don't have youtube premium if they aren't lucky enough 
and uh, to get to get a few pennies a week. I mean, that's your prerogative, and you have to censor on top of that. You can't curse. You can't show any depictions of violence. You can't uh, show story content. You know, you'll get takedowns and you'll get strikes and that kind of thing. So you can't use any music. You know, nobody. Who's trying? Who monetizes can use music. All their videos have the music turned down all the way, and it's it's awfully boring sometimes, uh, especially if they don't have the commentary skills to to fill the the void. But um, you know, like I said, to each their own, and this is what you want to try to do. And I don't blame you. It's a pipe dream for all of us, really. Who doesn't want to just you know, <laughs> excuse me, sit at home and play video games and get paid for it enough to live off of? You know, uh, we'd all love that. I'd love to quit my job and stay home and do stuff like this. But um, if doing that means, well, it's not actually possible for starters. Secondly, that to tr even try, I basically have to subject you guys to these awful political ads that they want to shove down your throats every couple of minutes or whatever. And uh, and that it's, it's going to take my money away if I tell a dirty joke or... or you know, if a clip of music gets through or something, you know, I don't, I'm not interested in that, especially not for pennies on the dollar. Now, maybe that, maybe you wanted to try it. That's, like I said, your prerogative, it's your product, do with it whatever you like. Um, but this is why I'm not planning on that. If I ever did make money off of this, it would be through a specific sponsorship, uh, which would have to be, I mean, I my channel would have to be way bigger, which will probably never happen. But, uh... To have any sort of meaningful income to be worth it. You know, I don't want to interrupt my content with ads even that I do myself unless I'm making real money off it. I'm an actual profit. You know, I'm not going to do it for, like I said, pennies on the dollar. I'm not going to interrupt my content and change my format. Uh, but it would have to be like sponsorships and it would have to be uh, through alternative methods. You can't use uh, PayPal anymore. You can't be trusted. Patreon has issues, right? So... Uh, there'd have, there'd have to be some other means of making money, and like I said, I don't have the audience for it. If I did, I might consider options, maybe open a store or something, but that'll be, if that ever happens, it would be very far down the road, and, uh, probably won't. So, <laughs> I'm perfectly happy doing this as a hobby, and not worrying about, uh, copyright claims on my materials. So, that's where I'm at, uh, with my channel. Uh, good luck to you with yours, whatever you're planning to do with it. Uh, everyone in my community has my full support. We're all nice, good people. We're all adults. Uh, we do our own things, which is perfectly fine. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. So, good luck. And uh, that's where I stand on it, at least with my channel, where that goes. Now, as um, far as anything else goes, uh, the rest of the week should be kosher. We're supposed to get another big storm here, like today. Uh, every big storm they say we're getting, we haven't really gotten, but that's always, you know, I've moved to the city now. So that's always been the case in the city. It used to drive me nuts. I, the city would be fine, and I'd, you know, take the highway home, and by the time I got to my highway, it was a nightmare. Uh, that's not the case anymore. Now I'm just, you know, I'm on the easy side of things, which I can't complain about. Only complaint is that I, I can't do my own laundry. I hate the laundromat. I hate that it's so expensive, I hate that it takes so long, that it's so far away, you know, but uh, this is uh, the path I'm on, so I gotta keep chugging chugging along, and, uh, you know, I'll get to the end when I get there. Um, but in the meantime, I'm gonna play games, and I'm gonna have fun with my audiences, uh, I'm gonna stick to streaming as much as I can, because I do enjoy the engagement with you guys, and uh, and it's always a lot of fun to stream. And it's easy to do, so. And other content's just gonna be, you know, side hobby stuff. <laughs> Alright. So, well, that's about it. Let me double check the news. Before we go, we'll see if there's anything else to report on that might be interesting in today. And aside of the weather that never broke. Let's see. Figures. Let's see, dog breeds. There is the new Mutant Mayhem movie coming out. I am a huge Ninja Turtles fan. 
Uh, but most of the recent stuff hasn't been all that interesting to me, and Mutant Mayhem is one of those things that's kind of on the fence. I, uh, I don't like the dialogue so far. I don't like the voice actors for the Turtles themselves. It's strange that Mutant Mayhem has, like, an all-star voice cast. You got Jackie Chan, you got John Cena, and uh, a bunch of other, you know, famous people, but none of them are Turtles, right? <laughs> They're all other people. The Turtles are a bunch of people I've never heard of before, and honestly, none of them sound right. I mean, Donatello sounds like a girl. So, uh, yeah, it's... Design-wise, it's not too bad, though. I actually kind of look forward to I am a collector of the Ninja Turtle action figures, so I might keep an eye out on what kind of uh, figures come out, depending on how they look. Uh, let's see. PlayStation 6 release dates? That sounds like a rumor. Of course, lots of things going on politically. I'm not going to get too far into that. Several dead after shooting at Jehovah Witness Hall in Hamburg, Germany. Apparently including Shooter. Now that sounds awful. Russia-Ukraine war. Naruto joke. Resident Evil Death Island. Haven't heard of that one before. Godzilla Island. 1990s series. Officially available in the U.S. for the first time. Never even heard of it. I am a Godzilla fan, so I keep an eye on things like that. DLC hinted for Hogwarts Legacy. And a sequel. Lego sets are too expensive. Uh, let's see. AirPods for $99 does not sound cheap. But whatever, AOL. Alright, box just took over my phone. <laughs> Witcher, showrunner, don't care about Witcher. Alright, doesn't look like much here going on. Same old, same old. Ah, oh, yes, another holothon. We'll talk about that with the Nika collectibles with Ninja Turtles. But that's a ways off yet. Okay, now songs. I do want to get more records. I was going to visit a local record store, which I was surprised existed. Uh, but apparently they recently closed, so... That's, uh, so much for that. Alright. Nothing else interesting going on, folks. So, like I said, that's the plans. We'll, uh, uh, the universe, or sorry, the 2K23 will download this weekend. Uh, I will crank through the showcase mode to make sure I unlock everything. Um, and then I will begin working on universe mode. So, it'll be, it's gonna be a little while before that starts. So, we got time if anybody wants to interject, wants to get themselves, make sure that they're out of it or in in a certain way. Uh, there'll be plenty of time for that. Probably at least a couple weeks, I'd say, depending. Um, and I'm going to continue working on uh, seven days in between. I want to finish my 100 days series. I'm a little disappointed in myself that I didn't get that second stream in this week, so we didn't get to do a horde night. And uh, I wanted to do a horde every week because it's, it takes eight hours of gameplay to get to one. But... Um, it didn't work out that way. That happens sometimes. But, uh... So I do want to make sure I get to a horde, maybe even two hordes next week. Try to catch up to myself. And I'll, again, fill in Naruto as I go along. I'd like to get those Naruto games completed before the new one comes out. I don't know what the release date for Connections is. I don't remember. I don't think it was announced yet. So, if it comes out later, 
I'm sure I'll be able to finish it. If it comes out sooner, I'll probably say screw it and just play the new one because that's the one I'm looking forward to. Um, and in the meantime, I want to work on the office, get the office done. Once the office is up to snuff, I'll probably start working on upgrading the PC, which will cost a little bit more. I do need to get, not a whole lot, but I need to upgrade the CPU, and I need more memory, so. Get that done, get the dual streaming set up good, and uh, we'll be set for the future, guys. So I hope you enjoyed listening to this, I hope it bought you a ride home or to work or whatever. You know, around on the shitter, whatever. <laughs> And uh, until next time, this is Mr. Grimm from Grimm's Gaming signing off. I'll see you later. Take it easy.